Hi, I'm Cindy Kenny, and today I'm going to tell you about how to create a lap book. A lap book is a really fun interactive tool that you can use to document what your children are learning. And all you need to start with are file folders. I like to use the colored ones because it does stimulate the memory a little bit better in the kids, but you can use any color you like. You'll need file folders, colored paper, you can use a stapler, you can use a hole punch and use brads, ribbons, glue sticks. This is one of my new best friends, washi tape. It's a um, it's a tape it's a ribbon that's actually sticky already, so that's something that you might want to try. Also, any old buttons that you have around the house, they're really fun to use in these as well, and I'll show you how. Any kind of little wiggly eyes that you might have, any craft supplies really, anything that you might use for scrapbooking would be great for this. Another great thing to use in lap booking is a tape gun. These are a little pricier, but they're um, very safe for little hands, a lot easier to use sometimes than the glue guns. Don't make quite as much of a mess. Um, the only thing that you're going to need to start off with is your folders. All right, so we're gonna get those out and I'm gonna show you exactly how to fold them. All right, so you're gonna take your folder and this line in the middle where it used to fold, it's never going to fold there again. It's important to remember that. All right, so you take your side flap and you fold it in to where the edge meets that line that used to be there, that fold that used to be there that we're never gonna fold on again. And you smooth out one side. Take the other side and do the same thing with the flap, the edge of the flap touching and smooth that out. All right, so now you've created a little opening folder like this, all right? So you're gonna fold it, create another one, just like that one. Again, touch the tab to the center and smooth out the side. Do that again on the other side. All right, so now you have two folders that look identical. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your glue. You can use hot glue if you're supervising your kids and you allow them to use hot glue. Sometimes we use that. It does tend to hold a little better, but um, this will, will work just fine for the little ones. And you're going to glue on both sides, I mean on both folders, you're going to put a little bit of glue on the inside flaps. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna stand them up. Okay, so I took both of these folders that we folded I put glue on the outsides of these flaps that are near each other, all right? And then you take them and make them touch. You smooth them out. All right, so now you've created a two-folder lap book base, all right? Now, you can create, you can put as many folders as you want with it. I'll show you one that is a four folder base, so you can get an idea of what that could look like. However many folders you wanna use. This is exactly what we did with the two folders, but we did it twice, and then we glued those together. All right, so we created a four folder base. We get a question, questions a lot of times about how to fold it back up. Just always remember that it never folds on that first line, the original line where the folder folded. Never fold it there again and you won't have any trouble folding it up. All right, it'll be really easy to fold. A lot of people try to fold it on that middle line again and that's when you get, it gets confusing how to fold it. So that's all you do to create your base. Then, as you're going through your studies, as your student gets to a particular topic, you pull out some paper and you cut out some unique shape booklet. It doesn't actually, any shape booklet, Really, like these are just basic circles, basic octagons. You can get kind of creative. This one's in the shape of a horse. This one's in the shape of a file folder. So just some basic shapes. Then you can get kind of fancy with it and make some accordion shapes, anything you really want. And as you go through your, your studies, you're gonna fill in those booklets with the information that you're learning. Instead of going to a boring white notebook, then the student would pull out that fun booklet that you've made and write all of their information about what they're learning inside. Now there are pre-made lap books that already have all of the information available to you and like this one for example is one on bony fishes and it has a little diagram of a fish. But you can create this on your own. You just cut out a fish shape piece of paper, two or three of them, glue them together, 
or staple them together. And then you can glue your diagrams inside. You can write your definitions inside. And when you're done, with, at, by the end of your study, you have a stack of booklets created from that one particular topic. And you go back to your lightbook base, and all you're going to do is glue those inside. So I'll glue those, a couple of them in and show you. You're just gonna take several booklets. I'm gonna glue two of them that I made. You take those booklets and you glue them anywhere you want inside of your folder. And they stand like that. And then, before you know it, you have the entire thing filled up. And then, like I said, it folds, as it folds back up really nice and easy. These store really well in old cereal cartons that you can cut out and set on a shelf like a magazine holder. They store well in a file cabinet. Very, very easy to store these. And your children love to pull them out and show people that come over to visit. So one thing to remember is that every time they pull these out, when someone comes to visit, they're reviewing. Every time they touch these booklets over and over again, they're reviewing. So it's a wonderful tool for review. It's a great keepsake. And it's a really good documentation of what they've learned. A lot of people even use these to replace assessments, replace testing, replace book reports. It can be used in so many different ways with any age, any grade level. So I encourage you to give it a try. It's a lot of fun and you'll find that your students actually look forward to learning.